oh gosh, how <laughs> dare I claim that eating this way has helped my mental health, that there's no way. I'm like, okay, but I'm not the only story. You normalize so many things and just justify that that's the way it is when it really isn't because we don't realize what we're doing is like eating these foods are, are destroying our bodies. I in minds in some cases. Being this way has been like so life-changing for me, like so many health benefits that I didn't even realize I would have. I wasn't following a lot of influencers when I first started this. So I didn't, I kind of went into it blindly and with the intentions of just trying to lose weight, I didn't know, you know, all the, the things that could come along with it. So yeah, it's been amazing. This community has been so amazing and it's just, it's been a good time. These last two years have been awesome. So I'm excited to be here and chat with you. A hundred percent. Yeah. We get yeah. used to all these little like aches and pains and just mm -hmm. things that aren't to totally normal. Like just because they're common doesn't mean that's yeah. normal and it's a good thing and should be happening. So yeah. <laughs> Right, right. And I think that's a good segue. Um, I saw your Instagram video and I loved it where you were talking about how you've been eating this way and it healed you mentally. And I would like us to talk about that a little bit and how you're able to get off your meds. Yeah. And how dare I say that? Did you see the comments? Some people are like, oh, no. Oh, gosh. How <laughs> dare I claim that eating this way has helped my mental health, that there's no way. I'm like, OK, but I'm not the only story. So right. Yeah, I was I was on Zoloft for anxiety and depression, and I I was on a high dose. I was on like a hundred milligrams, and I was completely like numbed out. Like, oh wow, I'm a very emotional person. Yeah. Um, watching a show will make me cry. I remember like being on that high dose and watching something with my husband, and he'd kind of look at me to see if I was crying, and like nothing. So we eventually like lowered it. I was on twenty five milligrams, and so I felt more like myself. Mm -hmm. but I, it wasn't helping for like the depression and anxiety and stuff. Like it was too low. Um, but when I started eating carnivore, since it was so low, I was able to notice a shift. I'm like a month in, I'm like, Oh my gosh, like I don't feel as miserable anymore. You know? <laughs> oh wow. Um, so I'm like, I think I'm going to try and like go off of this. Mm -hmm. So I had already tried before, it was probably like six months before I tried to go off my meds. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just my doctor, but there just wasn't a lot of education around the medication. It was just like, oh, you're struggling. Here you go. Boom. Never mm -hmm. like asked like, what my diet was or lifestyle or anything. So when she had me go off of it, um, it like we did it quickly in two weeks and it was miserable. I thought I had the flu. I didn't know oh, that wow. there was going to be I thought withdrawals for, were for people who like cold turkey stopped taking it. Right. I was like, and then brain zaps, which I had to like Google to figure out the word brain zaps because I'm like, something is feeling weird. And apparently that's what they call it. Brain zaps. Like you'd look and it would like, it, it was miserable. So wow. I, when I finally went off of, off of them after being carnivore, I went so slow. Like I didn't even tell my doctor, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to do it super slow. I cut the pills in half. I cut those. Like, I mean, it probably took me three months to wean off of it. So mm -hmm. I would highly recommend anyone. I mean, I'm not giving medical advice. I can't tell right. you to go off your meds, but if you do do it so slow, um, it was just a totally different experience. I maybe had brain zaps like one day. I didn't feel sick. Like, and yeah. And so I've been off of them, I guess like a year and a half now. And you wow. know, I have my moments, like sure. you know, my husband, I have some like crazy moments, but I mean, it's night and day to how I used to be and how I used to feel when I was eating. Um, I mean, I guess standard American diet, but even like when I was lower carb and keto, like I definitely yeah. feel better mentally now than I did then. Awesome. That's wonderful. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've, I've studied a lot about these med medications. They're terrible. They're terrible. You get addicted to them instantly. Even if you don't feel addicted, your body gets addicted to them. And so if they just have bad results, like you said, you feel numb. It's way better to be able to sit and watch a Disney movie with your kids and cry than feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're humans. We're supposed to have emotions. We're supposed to emote. That's part of our nature. So yeah. I'm so happy that you feel better. That makes me feel great that we're talking about this so we can promote it to some more people and maybe help them. A yeah, bit. I would, yeah, I would love for people to understand that, you know, your diet is linked to how you feel. And right. they, you know, they say that 
inflammation in the brain, you know, can is linked to like depression and, and all that. So if you're eating an anti inflammatory diet, then why wouldn't that help? So it, it always sure. pisses me off when people are like, you know, commenting hateful comments that I can't be sharing this. And there's no way it's true. And it's like, you know, so many of us are changing our lives by eating this way. And maybe just right, ask right. questions, like, instead of being right, like, right. there's no way like, and these are people like in the health space, like there are other like health coaches that are saying this to me. And it's like, wouldn't you get curious if people right. if so many people are saying this? Why are you just dismissing what they're saying? That's weird to me. Wouldn't you want right. to like dig a little deeper? Like, sure, anecdotes sure. matter, like just because oh, there's yeah. not here, I can't hand you this study on it. Um, you know, what we say does matter. And at what point do you start listening? Like how many of us have to say this has helped before you finally accept it? So yeah, sure. that's definitely one of like my messages that I tried to get out there um, awesome. that eating this way can help your mental health 100%.